Barry, 36 hours on from Barry, how do you reflect? Uh, you know, it's very frustrating after two good results over the Easter weekend. We, you know, get a flat performance like we did on um, Saturday. Um, and that's, you know, pretty much been the basis of the season where we've had good results. And then, you know, we've had that inconsistency that doesn't allow us to kick on. Uh, so it's frustrating. Um, we can look at it as being a young team, but they must learn throughout the season that, you know, the standards, we can't let our standards slip. And as you said, your, your methods work so well for Forest Green and Braintree, and then 10 of the 11 players started all three games. So it's, it is very difficult to explain where that performance out of the three came from. Yeah, definitely. You know, it, it, it was a similar um, formation that we set up with. Uh, we changed it early on in the, the first half just to try and get something, you know, to get a wee bit of tempo to the game. Uh, but unfortunately, it never happened for us. Um, but it's difficult to explain what you know that goes through the players' heads when they've played so well in the previous two games to then you know give a performance like Saturday. Is it something you notice in the warm up in the dressing room, or does it reveal itself steadily over the kind of in the course of the first half? As I've said many times, you know the the, the players have to do what gets them going um, for a game. Um, on Saturday we didn't change anything, the warm up or, you know, so it's a mentality that the players have that they have to make sure um, that they go out, you know, with the same attitude in every game. Um, any the, the games don't get any easier no matter what op the opposition is. Um, and on Saturday um, I felt that we get sucked in a bit to the way Barrow played um, and that's not the way we want to play um, and I think we get sucked into that a wee bit. I think after the, the the recent disappointing results, the players have responded well. They they bounce back with a positive result. It's but it is about ensuring that the lows don't repeat themselves. It's all very well bouncing back, but as you say, it is finding that that consistency. Is there anything is there anything that can be done to ensure that the levels don't drop? Well, as I say, it's an individual thing. You know, we know collectively as a coaching staff, we get the players fully prepared. We do the same things pretty much week in, week out um, in terms of uh, letting them know what the opposition are like, how they play. Um, but if you've had two good performances with the same formation and you get into a third game, you're expecting the same things. Um, and unfortunately the players didn't deliver them, um, sadly. Is, is it a, a, a psychological thing, do you think? that, that and, and maybe is there a, a learning period for you to, of that psychological side of I suppose the the old cliche of the kick up the backside or the backside or the arm around the shoulder is 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 there something that the players need to to kind of to keep that those levels? No, it's, a, it's an individual thing. You, you know, we can get them organised and make them um, aware of everything that's going on with the opposition, um, but when they cross a the white line, you know, they have to have the the same mentality no matter who it is they play. Uh, and you know, for whatever reason, too many players never had that mentality. And certainly, um, you know, and that's you know the disappointing thing that they can't go out and do it week in week out. Um, you know, and if they want, as I think I said before, if they want to go and play at a higher level, whether it's with older shot or whether it's you know with with anyone else, then they'll have to show that mentality. Otherwise, they won't. They'll stay at this level for their whole career, which. As a player, that's not what I would be wanting to do. And you suggested that maybe we got sucked in to Barrow's tactics. Will playing Grimsby tomorrow help, that, given that they're likely to come and play a more open game? No, I think Grimsby are quite similar. The footies we've got, they, they like to go back to front a wee bit quicker. Um, and the one thing we've got to make sure is that we don't get sucked into that. You know, we are a passing team. Uh, and we failed to deliver that on Saturday. You know, we didn't go on the ball well enough, we didn't pass the ball well enough. Um, but it's not through us asking the players to play any differently. Um, we just, sort of, as I said, I felt we get sucked into the way Barrow played and felt that, you know, we could match it and we didn't. Are you, it's an easy thing to say, are you tempted to make changes? Is Reese Brown available, for example, after international duty? Well, I think we'll, we'll have to make changes anyway, don't you? Um, you know, on Saturday there's a few of the boys that were showing signs of illness that played um, and they'll probably not be fit enough for 
um, Tuesday's game, uh, so we'll have to make enforced changes, uh, and you know the, the ones that get their opportunity again, we'll have to take them. And we've spoken so often this evening, the, the ups and downs. There's always going to be, but at the moment, the club needs needs to stick together. They need the fans to to back the players, even though there is obvious frustration and understandable frustration. Yeah, everybody's frustrated, you know, at some of the performances, but we've had a lot of good times as well. Uh, and, you know, at this point in time, we need everybody to unite and stick together, you know, t from now to the end of the season and beyond. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we can play better football than we did on Saturday uh, and get better results than we did on Saturday. But we've had good results here previously uh, and we've had performances, if we never got results, that the fans will be proud of, you know, that you know, the way they went out and played and worked hard. Uh, and, you know, as I said, we just the, the fans have been great all season. We just ask them to keep behind the players and keep giving them their support.